That sucker's red this morning, ain't it? Beautiful. Yeah. I like your your uh, live scope pole here. You just got a fiberglass. Was that one like a, a paint pole or something? Oh, that come off a rake. Off a rake, yeah. <laughs> and then you got it mounted on a trolling motor bracket. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Everybody asks me why I've got two trolling motors. Yeah, I mean, but that's that's a great idea, you know, and uh, it's really simple. And that's what I was thinking. If I get a battery like what you got. You stick it in there. Stick it in there, and you just go set on the dock or whatever. And anywhere you want to do it. That's right. You can do it on the dock. You can do it anywhere. You can go to somebody else's boat, and yep. you can stick it in there. Yep. That's you know, I'm working on the barge, trying to get it going, and I want to be able to move it back and forth. When you get done with it, you can come work on mine. <laughs> <laughs> that is a little bitty thing. That's like a cell phone. Uh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's a great. That's a great. I didn't know they made one like this. <laughs> People are trying to give them away. You can buy them things for dollars online. Yeah, that's a little dude there, buddy. I couldn't even read those words that just come up on it. So you know that on how that your buttons on here, you just hit that plus button and it'll go up five feet. Uh. -uh. Yeah, so say right over here is where you want to go, five feet, since we're 25 feet away. Yeah. Just hit that one time. Well, I'll be down. And it'll, it'll, it'll pull you up, and it'll do that. And then you do the same thing with the, the negative or the, the minus Straight symbol. Back. It'll, 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 back, it. it'll back you up five feet. Yeah. Then these, these right here will take you left or right five feet. Just hit that after one, you're yeah, yeah, after you get locked, locked in and you're, you're here. Then you can just hit this one way or the other if you need to bump over a little bit. Yeah, it's a whole lot better than trying to do it with this and then having to you, you drift it too fast. Yeah, and then it wants to go yeah. and blow yeah. the water yeah. like that and push all around. And all that's doing is spooking the fish, especially in yeah. these shallower water yeah. like this. So as quiet as you could possibly be, you know something else you might consider too on a day like this is ease up here with this and then just slip you an anchor over in the water easy and tie off. It seemed like we caught more fish in that little gray boat around there on that stump. Yeah. We'd pull up there and throw the anchor down. That's right. A just, few minutes. That's all you got. Just, just, just ease it down, you know, just slip it down right off. And just once you're lined up, once you get to where you think you can fish, yeah. slip it off, tie it up, and just sit there. Yeah. Oh, Cody! Oh, Lopper! Damn it! You don't want him, do you? Huh? Ah, we can keep yeah, it's up to you. If you don't want to keep any, that's fine with me. I, I prefer not to keep him this big anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll take it. It's a good one to start out with. Golly, that one bite took this but turned it toward his bait to pieces. That sorry sucker. What a piece of junk bait that was. I'm gonna go up just a little more. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Sitting there looking at the waves on the bank. Hey, be still. And he knocked my, I'd like to knock it out of my hand, that little rascal. You'll catch way more fish if you can turn this off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. When it's like this, especially, you know, calm, when it's calm and this is so shallow. Yep. Because like I said, that little gray boat, I didn't, I didn't use a trolling motor. I just found that stump over there and then I just anchored. Yeah, I'd start doing the same thing on these right here. Not even this. using the... Yeah, not when the wind's blowing. And that's going to keep people from getting hung less, too. When you're yeah. sitting still like that. That's probably the closest I ever come to limiting it out myself. Oh, and this one? And this one? Is on this one. And I, I could have that day if... Uh,
Yeah, and it been so hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Y'all gonna have to get your umbrella to go right here. Well, I've got one. You do? That piece went right back. You didn't even bring it when I come. I'm like, <laughs> I got it over. Oh, it's in the boat? It's, it's over there. Oh, it's at the house? You'll do better if you start anchoring on them. Yeah, you have always had all the equipment and then you're gonna go back to anchoring. Yeah, but I mean, you know what I mean. That's why you got you got to do it. You got to do what you got to do. I mean, it, it's yeah. it's for it's just like any other wrench we got in our toolbox. You know, yeah. you don't always use that plasma cutter. Sometimes you use the <laughs> yeah. grinder. You know, the grinding yeah. wheel. So same deal. You got him that time. Yeah. <clears throat> He ain't half bad. He's, I think that, you know, that's the thing about here, boy. They're they're long. You can get a, a bunch of keepers that don't look like keepers. And they ain't no meat on them. Either. They ain't a whole lot of meat on them. They're pretty skinny they like me, off. ain't they? I went through and run them all out of there. Oh, except that one. Oh, yeah. It's eight foot of water, and that water temperature, is that saying 90 degrees? 90 degrees. Goodness, that's hot. There he is, Cody. He's a whopper. There's a couple in there, ain't they? Mm. Some bluegills, too, I think. It looks like there's some better ones on that. Woo, that's a big one too. Right by the boat. Yeah, you'll get that big one out of there. There he is, Cody. I got him for you. You missed him and I got him for you. Is that them? The wire. You said you just been catching little guys. What kind of wire did you put on? I had that chicken wire. Oh, pirate line that went down to that cabin. They went down to what? To the cabin. Oh, okay. And I just cut it up. That that Romex. Yep. I mean, uh, not Romex. Uh, Triplex. It was a little. Yeah, the triplex was black on it. Yeah. Ooh, belly flop. You know, there's a lot of people think you can't catch crappie out of this shallow water this deep, and all just almost basically. You know what I mean? And yeah. This hot water temperatures. Everybody thinks that they go out real deep, but there's less oxygen in deep water, and then. End of July, first part of August, they start moving back up into shallower water. Large, large mouth do the same thing. Scared him. Yeah. That's a bass. He didn't like it. He didn't like that thing coming down in there on him. Oh, that little guy didn't like it either. some pink jigs before you know it. Yep. <laughs> I got every other color. Yeah, I know, right? That's the way it works sometimes, huh? Get all your tomatoes up. No, man. It, it rained so much, you know, and it was so cold so long that I put them in too late. Yeah. And it got to where they started getting ready by the time our season was over. Golly. Let the bugs eat them. 
Turn the goat in there on them. Yeah, I could. I could. If she wouldn't know what to think. She ain't ever been bred. <laughs> he might kill her. That's what I mean. You know, she or she may kill him. <laughs> yeah. If this one's 15 years old or something. She's not very nice anyway. I don't know. He'd have a hard time. She wouldn't be liking us no more if we brought her over here to meet another goat, I can guarantee you. I never knew goats lived so long. She's living, outliving everything we got. Well, we had about a hundred of them one time before we had blueberries. And uh, I was gone. I think I was either going on a fishing trip or I was going hunting or something. You know, that's the most, when they're going to have them, when it's the coldest and nastiest outside. Well, they'd laid about, <laughs> laid, they'd had about 15 of them up the hill, and about eight of them died because it's so cold and nasty. And they didn't know to get back to the, to the hill, down the hill where the barn was. And then this one, my wife gathered it up. Next thing I know, I come home and it's in the house. It was, uh, we got a little walkway in the front door there, a little hallway. And she had it in that hallway and had a little baby gate up, keeping it from going all through the house, you know. She brought it to back to life with a hair dryer because it looked dead when she got, you know, picked it up and brought it in. Anyway, so it was a pet, you know. She went everywhere with her and it won't die. I mean, it just lives forever. 